Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to walk you through this tutorial of how we can connect Google Sheets to a SQLite database. Specifically, I'm going to run through that quick start uh, tutorial down here. So what you want to do is go to that GitHub repository where you can find basically a little sample app uh, that allows us to build that Excel Wings Python backend for Google Sheets. And so following the tutorial here, uh, we're going to hit that deploy to render button. And um, if you are new to render, then you'll have to sign in using a social account or open an account first. But now that we're here, uh, we're just going to follow the instructions down here. And what that be basically means is uh, we're going to give it a name that can be anything. I'm just going to go with SQL here. Uh, we're going to give it basically the uh, domains that should be able to work, the Google Workspace domains that should be able to connect to that system, to that to that app. And in my case, that's uh, sumeranalytics.com. Then we're going to paste in either a trial, uh, uh, a, a trial key from, from Excel Wings uh, Pro uh, that we can, you know, uh, require from the homepage. So I'm going to do that. It's also remember, it's also free for non commercial use, uh, you will find all the re uh, required and relevant information down here. And then finally, we're going to uh, just put in the d uh, database connection string. And since we're going to use SQLite here, um, it's it's really just pointing to the uh, physical location of the SQLite file. If you're having a look at the repository here, this is where uh, the, the SQLite file uh, resides. And that's pretty much it. So um, then we can press on uh, an apply and it'll take a few minutes. Well, depending on, on, on the day, probably between a minute and two. Uh, go back here on the dashboard and uh, you'll see uh, the deployment here in progress. You can also click on it and that will actually then take you here uh, where you can also uh, follow along on that deployment progress here uh, on on the logs. And uh, once, once that's done, um, we basically have our app up and running, but we, we will let that uh, continue. And in the meantime, we're just going to uh, follow the tutorial here on the Google Sheet side. So the next step would be to here, click on, on, on that template that we're going to use. We're saying, yeah, use that template here. And once Google has done the copying for us, uh, you can see that we can then go to extensions and on apps script. And as you can see, uh, it already has all the required code in here. So it has a module which is called Excel Wings and it has another module which is called main. And here we're just going to have this function that calls the run Python, the Excel Wings run Python function. And it does that against a certain URL. And so basically, pretty much all that's left to do, as we can see down here, is going to our um, render app and get that URL here. Um, you can always get here from the dashboard um, back to your project and then you will see that the URL where your app will be running in our case because it's, it's still provisioning. So uh, we can get that, go back to here, to that um, Google Apps script environment. We just paste that no trailing slash here. That looks good. We can save it uh, uh, over here. And then, uh, yeah, we just have to wait for that uh, deployment to be finalized. And that's just happened. So you can see it's currently live, deploy succeeded. So uh, we should be ready now to hit 
that run button here. And so importantly, uh, when you run uh, one of these Excel wings uh, scripts for the very first time, it'll ask you for the authorization. That's only going to happen the very first time. Um, you need to sign in uh, using your account here and then you just you need to revise the permissions that the app is looking for and it's pretty much just getting access to that file here and getting access to the backend service so we're going to allow this and then uh, you will need to funny enough uh, click the run button again and this will now give you back uh, all the records from that SQLite file. It's a table from like the, the AdventureWorks um, uh, sample database. And now you can, for example, look for like all the accountants that will give you back only sort of like accountant and accounts manager here. And uh, you can also, you know, build interface, easy interface for like on and off for flags. So um, if, if you don't want to have salaried people, then um, you can see, then you get back like the zero salaried flag here. Uh, if you want to have only the salaried people, then you will get back the ones here. So that's a super easy way of building uh, a Python backend to your Google Sheets front end. And as you have seen, it only literally takes a couple of minutes to deploy a sample project and all the other information of how you like build a development environment um, you can find in the blog post or obviously in more details in the documentation on exowings.org. Thanks so much for checking in and see you at the next tutorial.